Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is not these ones. I showed you how to make these a couple of days ago. These are the beautiful tags using time for tags, but it's actually, it's the box to hold them. So this box will comfortably, more than comfortably hold six. It will probably go for a full 10. Depends on how um, bulky you make the front of your tags, but they fit in there nicely. They actually, they sit lower than the height of the box so it's just the ribbon that sticks out the reason i've got this ribbon on the front is because i ran out and i it was like oh what do i do what do i do um but actually my new ribbon arrived in time but let me show you how to make the box very simple need a piece of cardstock that's four and three quarters by seven and a half inches 12 by 19 and a half centimeters and where's my stylus don't know, I'll have to grab another one. Okay, so on the long side, let me bring my measurements closer so I can actually read them. On the long side, score it at one and an eighth, three and a half, four and five eighths, and seven inches, which in metric is three, nine, twelve, and eighteen. And then turn it around and score it at one and an eighth um, by uh, which is three centimeters. Somebody switched my brain on today. Send coffee. <laughs> okay, so the finished dimensions of the box, it's one and a half by two and three eighths by three and a half inches. Um, and the tags are two by three. So you've got, um, that's why you've got the extra room. So they're only two by three inches. So there's plenty of room all the way round and when they're inside. Okay. So, little bits to snip. Snip a bit there and there. And cut that one away. Not good scissors. It's a better pair. No, it's not. It's got so tape. It's a real tragedy that my office is about four strides from my two younger sons' bedroom doors. When they need stuff, this is where they come. It's not like we don't have household stuff down in the kitchen and down in the snug that they can make use of. No, no. They like the stuff that's conveniently next door. Okay, so that's the box. I'm going to do the stamping on here before I stick it on. So I've got two pieces of Whisper White. Two and an eighth by three and a quarter, so five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm coming back in with the same stamp set. And all of these have got different sentiments on. So I'm just going to pick out a couple of these. So I'm going to go just because, which is this one. Take just because and with love. That one. A couple of tiny little A blocks. And I went with the, um, oh, I can't think, Balmy Blue and Highland Heather for that one, but I'm going to come in with, no, I'm not, Blushing Bride and So Saffron. And I'm just going to randomly stamp everywhere. And I don't necessarily want them in a perfect line, so it's just literally randomly stamped. And then so saffron for celebrate. And fill in the gaps. And you could do as many different colours or words as you fancy, but I knew I was going to be making two versions of these, so I thought, well, that's four colours covered. under here. And those go on the front in the middle. Don't think I get my measurements right there, you know. 
feels a bit short. I will check that out. Okay, and then some tear and tape down the side. Two sides in and the back. And this is the front panel round and then I can put my ribbon on the front so now I do have the matching ribbon and I'm going to tie a square knot Grab a couple of those. I have three. I'll put three in each. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, I've definitely got the measurements wrong. I'll have to work out what that's meant to be. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Bye.